So who's watching Love and Marriage Huntsville? Because can we just talk about this man here, Marcel? Like, he is so rude, gaslighting, such a dickhead in terms of his behaviour. I'm like, why? Why, why, why? Why is he sitting at this table being so rude? Uh, well, go on, those people. Let's get into this show because it was an interesting episode, particularly at this point anyway. So I'm going to just pick up with this bit here. When you've got the Scots, uh, Marceau and Tisha, who meet up with um, Nell and Chris Fletcher, who I think are a really nice couple. And we're rightfully, obviously, questioning why they weren't invited to the expo, being that they are business people themselves. And you've got this man, bloody Marceau, sitting there talking about, oh, well, you know, he didn't know how, you know, what they did, basically. You know, implying that Chris has just got a lot of money and uh, Nell is just some pretty wife. Like, how patronising and rude. I'm just sitting there looking at Tisha, just thinking, how do you even deal with this, this man? Like, he's just, he's just unbelievable. Like, what is wrong with this man? And then he proceeds to start shading Mel's business as well because, you know, I think it's really weird because when you've got Tisha talking about, oh, um, you know, both of them are saying, oh, because they were friends with the with the Holtz. But yeah, like Nell said, this isn't high school. These are grown people with uh, businesses. So what's the problem? And then you're going to sit there shading Mel because what she sells T-shirts when you sell T-shirts too. And you know she does more than sell T-shirts. She like she said she says later on in the show she's helped put checks in his pocket. So like what is his problem? It just comes off as just such an ass. Like why? Why do you choose to be an ass? Because to me at this point it's a choice, right? You're choosing to be rude, you're choosing to be an ass. Why? Is it just because you want to get more ratings on TV? Like, are you actually just like this as a person? Because this is ridiculous behaviour. I like that Chris told them, like, you know, you're not gonna shade the Holtz basically, you know, and and reminded him that he did business with them too. But, you know, it seems that Marcel just wants to bypass the fact that he's done business with them. And because they are starting fresh businesses, it means that, you know, they don't have the experience. Like, what a load of BS. Now, when Tisha asked the question about cheating, I just thought, girl, come on now. Your communication skills need to be worked on. You can't just blow it out like that. I don't feel like she was trying to be haterish. I feel like she was actually just genuinely trying to find out. But she said it in the wrong way. And of course, her husband shut her down immediately. I'm going to skip back slightly to when uh, Tiffany and Stormy met up to talk about playing the baby reveal. And um, I thought it was interesting, of course, you know, when they were talking about Tisha and Marceau. And I like that Stormy just said it straight. She ain't really feeling Marceau because of his behaviour. And I get her on that. I would be the same, very much so. Um, but I also thought it was nice that Stormy was essentially checking in on Tiffany to make sure she's all right. As much as I find Tiffany to be very annoying and rude, I like that she was, um, that Stormy was checking up on her to make sure that she was good, um, knowing that she's already had the baby. And you can see that, you know, Tiffany is clearly quite overwhelmed and she lets it be known that, yeah, she's, she's struggling a little bit. Now, at the baby reveal, when she t- turns up and the place isn't together, I'm like, uh, what is going on? She's putting on gloves to go and get things set up. So I'm just like, what kind of shambarang business is this? But anyway, ladies came to come and support. So you had Kimmy in the place, of course, and uh, Melody and Stormy. And then um, Nell joins later, which is where it gets a bit more spicy. Now, when Nell was downloading... Uh, Melody on the whole, you know, dinner with the Scott situation. Obviously, I knew that Mel was not going to be happy and rightfully so because it was just a hot mess. Like, so I'm glad that she kind of let her know that he was just shading her and shading her business. And it is nonsense. And, you know, the fact that they were kind of wary about the friendship too. It's just like these are business people, like Mel said. She's sure that they didn't turn her, turn them away when they were going around black and, you know, giving them their custom. So why did, would they not, you know, include them in the expo? And rightfully, so you can tell Mel is not happy. And so she wheeled off and was going off about, you know, men basically taking a piss, like people like Marceau, who are shading her about her, her T-shirts. And when he's got, you know, when they also sell T-shirts and T-shirts selling mugs. And then, of course, she threw in the, the fraud claim as well, which just had me cracking up. I was rolling. Anyway, um, and as well as mentioning that she has put several checks in his pockets. So I was like, yes, Mel, go off, go off and make sure when you see him, you let him know what the hell is going on because the man is bang out of order. Anyway, people, what do you think of the episode? Let me know your thoughts below. Are you cool with this big man? Do you like him? Tell me. Well, go on. <laughs>